So it's Wednesday, May 29th. I am finally starting to get over my jet lag. These are some clips from Wednesday morning training. Caleb started off with a few light squats. Uh, most of the guys either did power snatches or some, some lighter doubles. Uh, there's uh, Ryan Clark. Her new 94, I'm sure soon to be 105. He tweaked his uh, shoulder just a hair earlier, and so he wasn't able to snatch super heavy, especially this morning. Uh, still was able to go after some pretty good cleaning jerks, though. Had a pretty good day of training today, overall. Actually, uh, a couple PRs. Travis had a couple PRs in the power clean, and Mike lifted real good in the afternoon. It was a... Uh, it was a pretty decent day. Travis didn't snatch all that heavy in the morning, but uh, got some some decent numbers. This is uh, Tom with 120. He did two doubles with 120 and one double with 125 this morning, which is been pretty normal for his morning workouts. He's getting really consistent with those weights. And with Tom, that's really been the big key is to try to find consistency. He hasn't, over the past year, been the most consistent in the snatch, but it's really starting to. Um, that's a 140 for Travis. I think he only went up to 150 this morning. Is obviously with a 192 cleaning jerk that's reasonably light for him. Here's Tom's double with 125. Biggest improvement Tom's made is stand back on his heels. And you can see as he goes, you know, from the first pull through the scoop and into the second pull, his hips just aren't shooting forward anymore. And I think that's going to going to let him. Of course, he snatched 150 recently, but if we can keep those hips back like that. It's just not going to be too long until we see it go over 160. He's certainly strong enough. Ryan has made tremendous progress on the on the cleaning jerk in the week and a half that he's been here. He came here with a 145 max cleaning jerk, hit 151 at the tryout meet, hit 156 two or three days later in training, and then cleaned 160. See, last Friday, several times. So he's just been shooting up. Mike maxed his front squat this morning, didn't set a new PR, but did fairly well. And there's, uh, Ryan had to do three sets of, uh, three sets of three with 150. His best front squat one right now is 175, but I look for that to increase in the next week or two to over 180. It's 162 for Mike. You can hear me sniffling. I've kind of got a cold here. Uh, for Tom, the morning was uh, one clean and two jerks for the clean and jerk exercise. I think this is a uh, 60. It's either 150 or 160. Pretty easy jerks. This is the best front squat Mike made this morning. When he does this, it looks like he has a little more, but he wasn't able to make any more. His best is uh, 170. So that's not too far off his best. That's it. Not bad for a Wednesday morning. I actually trained for about two hours in the morning. I just didn't shoot a ton of video. The thing I like about Ryan, he's got a real nice straight pull in the snatch. Finds the bar really easy when he goes under it. Doesn't miss a lot of light with us.
a lot of the guys did uh, snatch deadlift plus snatch. Mike had a lot of trouble. Uh, doesn't look like it on that rep, but he had a lot of trouble when he started these this morning. He just couldn't get the feel of them right. It's been a long time since he's done them. And, uh, but he came on after a few misses and after uh, a fair amount of work, he ended up doing very well this morning. I didn't have Ryan do the deadlift plus snatch, just snatch. He's, uh, as you can probably imagine this first week and a half with us he's gotten pretty damn sore um, hurting quite a bit and so we you know, tried to keep it as as easy as possible and not do the any complex type exercise with him just to help you know let his body adapt a little bit That was a nice thing. Brian uh, PR to snatch by three kilos last week from 118 to 121. Um, we talked yesterday a little bit about goals, and you know my idea of a good goal for him initially is uh, just get get the total over 300 kilos as quick as he can. Um, his best numbers right now are. 121, 156, but he's got a he's got a lot of I really think he's gonna total 300 fairly quickly. Those 140s are getting easier for Travis. That's 125 for Tom. I think he made 135. Today on that exercise, it's 130 there. I think that was a PR for him, actually. There you go. That was the first lift I really thought might not have gone. That one looked right. And he and Matt got into a little little competition here. I missed a couple of lifts, but they uh, they were kind of going back and forth. Mike is uh, extremely competitive. And being in a, you know, a much lighter weight class than everybody else, um, he doesn't really have the benefit of direct competition with, with some of the heavier guys, but he and Matt are pretty close. Uh, in most of the snatch exercises, and so they get a little competition going between them. I think it helps both of them. That's a pretty solid 135. I gotta tell you, when, I, when he did that, I thought he might have 40 42, but it uh, wouldn't be. That's a good lift for him anyway. Talking about Tom there. It's 147 for Travis. Not too bad. He's having a pretty good week this week. Which is to be expected, I guess, he'll get. We're about four weeks out now from 10 amps. 118 for Mike. A little bottle on the test, but nice pull. He goes under the bar really nice. If anything, Ryan tends to sneak into the bar a little bit. I mean, you know, he tends to not finish the pull when the weight gets heavy and I want to just sneak under it instead of open, instead of, you know, extending all the way. That's a lot easier to fix than someone who overextends. I would any day of the week rather coach someone that wants to sneak under rather than someone that wants to extend too far. You see that uh, 120 by Mike there, he really thought that that was the win. He didn't think, you know, him and Matt were kind of competing, and he didn't think Matt was gonna 
going to come back and beat that. And I actually missed the lift. I didn't get it on camera, I don't think. But Matt did come back and hit 121, which uh, actually he hit 121 after Mike had already gone down and started to do his doubles. And needless to say, that pissed Mike off to a very high degree. And so uh, Mike had to come over on his bar and go after 122. There you have it. That was the winning one. <laughs> Matt tried 123 several times after that, and there was a lot of cussing and slamming of the straps and whatnot. I was tempted to put it on video, but I didn't. But Mike, Mike's LO one for today, I guess. Travis is going to set a PR double and a PR triple on fire today. So I'm still looking up here with 150, but... He had a good day power clean. And he wanted to clean and jerk, you know, full clean like everybody else. But he had just a little tweak in his hip. It wasn't too bad. But he thought, well, yeah, I guess I did still one of the 123 attempts in here. after a missed. This is a PR double for Travis. the video of the tryout knows he hit a 192 at the tryout. Didn't just hit it, but hit it convincingly. Caleb Whitby. so tired right now and so just hurting physically from kind of an increased training load that I'm really surprised. I mean, I'm impressed actually that he's still that he's still going for PRs. That tells me when he recovers a little bit he's gonna he's gonna hit some really big lights. One of the exercises there that seems to work really good for Travis is push jerks like that. These tend to really help his jerk. There's a guy that does not press out his jerks. They're all locked out. That's great. List for 160 from a high hang there. Not a tremendously heavy weight. Um, about 80 per, well, yeah, exactly 80% of his best clean and jerk, which is 200 kilos. But uh, looks good. Looks pretty good doing. Mike, uh, Mike had problems going from the high hang today. If you want to really get to Mike, ask him to do some lifts from the high hang you know, above the knee. He's not good at that at all. So we just basically let him go down below the knee to finish off the sets there. I'm 
this is pretty much the end of practice right here, but we had, you know, like I said, several PRs, several more attempts at PRs. Not really a workout that we obviously weren't just maxing the stanchion cleaning, cleaning jerks and those super heavy weights, but uh, a lot of good work today. I thought it was a very good practice. Very good practice. I, you know, we need five or six more practices like this on Monday and Wednesday to really get the, you know, Travis and James Tatum ready for Pan Ams. And uh, I think uh, given that kind of work, they will both be definitely ready to go.